Hello. More cards have been revealed for Disney Lorcana, and we have a special treat for you. We have significantly more information on the pricing, release dates, and products coming our way. Gameplay reveals are seriously right around the corner, and Lorcana is becoming more bold in teasing us with specific terminologies of ways to play. One of the recently revealed cards is the White Rabbit's Pocket Watch, which grants a character, Rush, the ability to challenge the same turn that they are played. I find that to be an interesting thing, because it shows that, usually, without using this item, you will not be able to challenge the turn that a character is played. Does this mean that neither player will be able to challenge on their first turn? It's starting to seem that way. One of the mysteries of Lorcana has been the mysterious tokens. Several ideas swirled about, and I was pleased to find that my own theory about the tokens being damage counters was correct. Well, it seems it was half correct, as now it has been revealed that there are two different kinds of tokens. There are damage counters, and there is the lore tracker token. This was revealed in an article about Lorcana that tells a little bit more about exactly what is in each of these products. Damage counter tokens seem to be pretty straightforward, that you will be placing these on your characters as they accrue damage until they're defeated. When you purchase a deck, it will come with 11 damage tokens. And this makes sense, as you'll likely need many of them. Expect a lot of damage. But each deck comes with only one lore tracker token. These decks are ready to play, so each player will only need one token to play. I am really getting antsy to know what's going on. What do you think that these lore trackers will be used for? I feel like they're connected to the win conditions, but we'll know soon enough. The pricing has been rumored for a bit from the Ravensburger German website. But now we can reveal the correct pricing of the new Lorcana products, and some are even more affordable than previously thought. Here's the pricing. Each deck will be $16.99. Each booster pack of 12 cards are $5.99. The decks seem like a really nice price, because Pokemon decks are usually $15 and Lorcana decks each come with a booster pack. So you're getting a $23 value for 17 That's a great deal to me. The gift set, this time featuring Hades and Mulan, is $29.99. And the Illumineers Trove comes to $49.99. We've gotten a little bit more of a look into the Trove recently, and it's going to be really fun to have. The first chapter is coming to local game stores August 18th, and everywhere else September 1st. But the first chapter is only the beginning. The mysterious second set of Lorcana is quickly approaching after, coming to local game stores November 17th, and everywhere else December 1st. And take a look at the Lorcana official website. It's been recently updated to include the storyline behind the Illuminary, the Illumineers, and Lorcana. Which deck are you starting with? Many Illumineers are being called from around the world. Will you answer the call?